there's my TBR jar, full of stars, and there's Storm. She's not picking my TBR jar, I'm just going to do it myself. Um, I'm going to pick two books, and that's going to be for the month of May. My TBR is for May, so let's go ahead and pick them. I've already shaken it, but I'm going to go ahead and pick them. Because I'm going to pick two stars. All right, so I've got one star, and I've got one star here. So let's open the star. Okay, so we got gated. It's gated. All right, it's gonna be my other star. Open them. It's not the way. Come on. It's gotta be. First, we're gonna fight with it. We're gonna tear it because it's pissing me off a little. Here we go. All right, so we got Pretty Girl 13. All right, so what I need to do is track down these two books. My TBR is for May, so I'll be back. This is the first book for the TBR pick, Gated, by Amy Christina Parker. So she thought the evil lived outside the walls, and she was wrong. So it was published in 2013. It's about 17-year-old Layla who feels ambivalent when they're I guess he's a really hot leader of their isolated suburban community, is told that the end of the world is near, and when it arrives, they must be ready to defend themselves against the unseen, unchosen. All right, not too sure. Um, it's, let's see, it says it has cult, cults in it. It's a utopia-based book, which will have survival in it, and religious leaders. I'm thinking it's very... Um, well, it's very cultish. It's very Jim Jones, I'm sure. I hope they don't drink Kool-Aid. But that is what this book is about. I'll read it, and then I'll do a thorough review on it on Goodreads. Alright, so this is Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Coley. Uh, yeah, well that's, it's a pretty cover. It's a little freaky. But this book was also published in 2013, and it's about a 16-year-old Angie. Wow, there's a lot of young people in these books here. So she finds herself in her neighborhood with no recollection of her abduction or of the three years that have passed since. Oh, that's pretty rough. So until she actually has her alternative, alternative, alternate, <laughs> that's the word, alternate personalities start telling her their stories through letters and recordings. So this is a very Sybil kind of book. Um, she has her alternate personalities telling her what has happened. So this is going to deal with kidnapping, um, most, multiple personalities, and sexual abuse. So it's her having to come back and try to figure out her, her life and what happened to her when she was gone. Yeah, that's a very civil kind of book. So it seems like I got two very weird books. I hope I don't get to some really weird mood after reading them. But those are the two books I'll be reading in May, which I better find a fun one to read next because that's that's going to do me in. Maybe I'll read this one. This looks really fun. This might counterbalance it all. Dead with the Wind, A Southern Ladies Mystery. Yep, I think that would be my balance act for me. All right, thanks for watching.